So in Pattaya, all there is is working girls, nightclubs, and beers to be drank, right? Wrong, let's talk about it. Y'all know the deal at this point. Welcome back to Tempest TV. So I get asked quite a bit, what is there to do in Pattaya besides drinking, partying, going out, meeting girls? Don't get me wrong, there's plenty of that, but there's plenty of other stuff too, and you might be surprised by quite a few of them. I was really surprised when I got here. I knew there was a little bit, but honestly, since I've been here for six months, I've found quite a bit. So today we're down here on Jom Tien Beach, soaking in the sun, it's a beautiful day. We're gonna walk about it, we're gonna talk about it. Let's do it. So it is not a stretch to say that Pattaya is pretty much the Vegas of Thailand. It's the city of vices, city of sin. You can come here and do whatever you want, whenever you want, as long as you got the money for it. And yeah, that's great and all, but Pattaya does have plenty of stuff to offer that doesn't include wasting your money, hangovers, waking up with people that you might not be super stoked about, and just in general debauchery. One of my big motivators when choosing Pattaya is the availability of a lot of things that I'm interested in, as well as prices. Don't get me wrong, I love to go out with the boys and tie one on every once in a while, but that's only a very small portion of Pattaya. And if you're coming here, I definitely recommend getting out a little bit, going and finding some different stuff. You can have a party anywhere in Thailand. You can have a party anywhere in the world. And don't get me wrong, it's super fun, but get out, find some other stuff. Today, I'm gonna explain to you quite a few things that you can get out and you know, change up the feel a little bit if you are here in Pattaya and you're looking for something a little bit different. If you're an outdoor person, you like palm trees, you like coconuts, you like hanging out by the water, get out, hang by the beach. Granted, a lot of that will include some beers and things like that, but if that's not your thing, there's plenty of beaches here. Pattaya Beach is known for being a little bit dirty, a little bit crowded, but if you bounce around a little bit, you come down here to Jom Tien, you go a little farther south towards Rayong, there's plenty of beautiful beaches that you can check out. So get out there, experience that a little bit, jump on a jet ski, ride the parasails. It's a good day for just the outdoor fun, get you some sun, and generally, during the day, the Thai beaches aren't very crowded. Generally, Thai people don't like the sun too much, so it's always easy to find a spot, come down, relax, get a massage, drink a coconut, whatever you wanna do. So make sure you do a little exploring and check out other beaches besides just Pattaya Beach itself. So kind of going hand in hand with that, you're, when you're in Pattaya, you're also close to a lot of really good islands. Obviously, right here off the beach is Koh Larn. Super good for like a little day trip. Plenty of beautiful beaches. There's some fishing to be had out there. But also, if you go about 30 to 45 minutes south, you can head to Rayong province where there's Koh Samet. Go about another 45 minutes south and you're in Koh Chang. So do some island hopping. There's plenty of snorkeling, scuba diving, fishing. There's a little bit of surfing at the right time of year. So make sure you get out, explore some of the islands, get out for a day, you know what I mean? Take a break from the hustle and bustle of Pattaya. Generally, most of these islands are pretty low key, especially Koh Samet, that's my personal favorite right now. Really laid back, you see a lot of Thai locals, not really too many travelers going to that one. Koh Chang is a little bit more busy, but if you're here, make sure you do some research, check out some islands, and you know, go get your feet wet for a day. Another activity that I feel like a lot of people miss out on when they come to Pattaya, granted it's not for everybody, but that's a lot of the temples. You head down, you go check out the Big Buddha Mountain, you cruise around a little bit down there, there are quite a few really dope temples. There's also the Big Buddha statue here up on Pratimnak Hill, which is a super great viewpoint. Make sure you definitely go check that out and get a view of the city, it's super amazing. But also if you bounce a little bit farther south, go check out some super cool temples. There's one there, I can't remember the name, I will link it in the description, but it also kind of doubles as a museum. They've got a bunch of 16th, 17th century bronze statues, some of the actual terracotta warriors from China, which I thought was super cool. It's right by this beautiful lake, it's five stories, it's super serene, plenty of stuff to check out. So even if temples might not necessarily be your thing, I still think it's a great idea to go. Check a couple of them out. If anything, it's good for the Instagram. Another misconception that I hear quite a bit is, Pattaya is not friendly for families. Now granted, there's certain areas of the city that I wouldn't take my kids, even though I see plenty of people taking their kids down there. But Pattaya has plenty to offer if you do have kids, you wanna come here for a little bit of vacation. There's tons of resort style condos and things like that with huge pools, water slides. There's places you can go outside of the city that have tons of activities for kids. You come down here to the beach, plenty of things to do for the kids. There's always, there's arcades, there's movie theaters, all that stuff we have in the States that kids love to do, all that stuff is available in Pattaya as well. So if you're thinking about stopping by for a little bit with the kids, 
don't worry about it. Definitely include it in your itinerary. It's worth the stop. There's plenty to keep the kids entertained during the day, get them a little bit tired, and then maybe you can squeeze in some beers later. You probably earned it. Now, all you single guys or younger couples, not to worry, there are plenty of those type of activities that are available for adults as well. There's plenty of charters where you can take boats out, you can go to the islands, you can rent a yacht for a day, you can go on fishing trips. There's actually two full-blown go-kart tracks here that are super fun. You can get a little bit out of the city, you can go do zip lining tours. There's waterfall tours a little bit south towards Chantaburi. Also, you can head out towards the rubber plantations and there are dirt bike excursions. You can go out, you can rip ATVs for a day, you can rip UTVs. There's a couple paintball courses as well if you're here for your friends and they ran up your bill last night so you wanna go light them up on the paintball course. There's tons of daily activities here for adults. Maybe you don't like boats so you don't want to go out in the water and go fishing. There's actually fishing parks here in Pattaya where you can go, you can rent equipment, you can buy bait, they'll tell you how to get on the fish. Super cool. So if you have a day where you just want to relax, you don't want to go out, maybe you're a little bit hungover, you want to just go chill a little bit, there's plenty of things to do for the adults as well. If you are new to the channel and you would like to see more and learn more about Thailand, go ahead and click subscribe down below, click like on the video, that way YouTube knows you're enjoying the content and we'll give you an update every time I upload new videos, which is every single day. I'm also active in the short form realms on Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff will be linked in the description below. And to all the returning viewers, thank you guys so much. I love you. In all reality, this is just a taste of the things that Pattaya has to offer besides the obvious nightlife and drinking, things like that. Now, I've only been here for six months. Some of these things I've only discovered in the last month, in the last two weeks. So I will continue to find new things. I will continue to keep you guys updated. But just remember, if you're coming to Pattaya and you're worried about, oh, well, I'm not really a drinker or anything like that, there's plenty of stuff for you. Don't get turned off by it and if you are a drinker you'll have plenty of fun too as always guys thank you so much for tuning in to tempest tv like we said if you'd like to see more from the channel you know what to do as always thank you guys for tuning in we'll catch you in the next one tell somebody you love them